Let's talk some golf. Three straight runner-up finishes. It's a matter of time before we get one. Plus 8,000, 80 to 1, runner-up finish. Plus 60 to 1, runner-up finish. And last week, Cam Young, plus 28 to 1, runner-up finish. And it's not only those guys. We've also had two guys at 70 to 1 and at 45 to 1 finish in the top five the past two weeks. We've been all over the board. That's four straight winning weeks in golf. Let's make it five. And I'm starting off right here. This is my best bet of the week. If you would like the rest of my card, you can hit the link in my bio. You can go check out the website, ghostpicksats.com. Team Patrick, check out my golf. It is my most profitable sport besides the NFL, and it's been on a heater so far this year. Let me get into why I like Jake Knapp here this week. Talk about it. I like him top 40. I like him top 20, top 10. I like him across the board. These are my best bets, and here's why. Jake Knapp won the Mexico Open about four weeks ago. Since then, it's been the Florida swing where there is water everywhere. Water on every hole on every course. Jake Knapp has, is one of the longest drivers on the PGA Tour, but he's one of the most wild. He's put more balls in the water than anybody else over the past three, four weeks. Now, we take it to this week. We are in Texas. There's no water. There's no rough. There's no bunkers. There's nothing. There's no danger off the tee. It is a bomber's paradise. So what do you need this week? You need to bomb the ball. Number one, you get a huge advantage. Number two, proximity to the hole on your approach shot. Second shot, proximity. You know who ranks number one over the past three months, over the past six months? Jack motherfucking Nap. Now, he also drains putts. This is the perfect combination. I'm putting, my, putting it out there. Last time that I was so heavy on one golfer, it was Lucas Glover at 80-1 to 1 back in the fall where we hit a three straight winners. Lucas Glover, number two. Now, this is just one of those perfect fits. The one thing about it, though, is Scotty Scheffler is damn the closest thing to Tiger Woods since Tiger Woods, and it's not even remotely close. He's insane. Next is Wyndham Clark, who's been phenomenal. We were on him two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, at 60-1. to 1. He finished his runner-up, and now he's all the way down, down, down to 12-1 to 1 odds to win this tournament. Those two guys are the big, they're the big hitters. So I do like on Fandle, they offer this without Scotty Scheffler, Finau, Zalatoris, and Wyndham Clark. I think all four have a legit shot to win this tournament. So taking those out of the picture, I like them even more so. I'm splitting it even. I think he could outscore all of them though on any given week. Uh, this is one of these courses. It actually plays as one of the most difficult on the PGA Tour every single year. The big factor about this one though is it's in the springtime. This tournament usually happens in the fall, and the rough is the single most penalizing rough in all of the PGA golf. This year, the rough is only about an inch and a half because it's in the spring in Texas. It hasn't had time to grow. So bombers, no matter how inaccurate you have, have a huge advantage. I like Jake Knapp to finish in the top 20 at plus 250, uh, top 40 at plus 115. These are on FanDuel. And I also like him plus top 10 at 450 to win, winner without right. And then I also like some PGA golfers, which, you know, you can hit the link in the bio and check that out. But the other, if I had a long shot, Hayden Springer is my long shot of the week. He's 250 to 1. In this same market here, he's 120 to 1. He's 14 to 1 to finish top 10, Five, plus 550 to finish in the top 20. I'm a big fan of Hayden Springer. Now, while he might miss the cut, very possible. He is as streaky as a golfer as anyone, but right now his upside is about as high as anyone. Maybe not, you know, outside of the top guys, of course. But he bombs it off the tee. He has he's a hot putter, and he's got every every other part of his game working except for his approach shots. Now that's the one area where it's streaky. He's had a couple good weeks, a couple bad weeks. If he has a good one at those long shot odds on this easy of a course, Hayden Springer is my long shot. Good luck, God bless, grind on. Have a great week. Let's make it five winning weeks in a row on the PGA Tour. Hit the follow. Hit the like. Hit the link in the bio or in the comments. Check out my premium content over at ghostpicksats.com. Have a great weekend.